The Way of Light The Way of Light then is as follows. If anyone desires to travel to the appointed place, he must be zealous in his works. The knowledge, therefore, which is given to us for the purpose of walking in this way is the following. Thou shalt love him that created thee. Thou shalt glorify him that redeemed thee from death. Thou shalt be simple in heart and rich in spirit. Thou shalt not join thyself to those who walk in the way of death. Thou shalt hate doing what is unpleasing to God. Thou shalt hate all hypocrisy. Thou shalt not forsake the commandments of the Lord. Thou shalt not exalt thyself, but shalt be of a lowly mind. Thou shalt not take the glory to thyself. Thou shalt not take evil counsel against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not allow overboldness to enter into thy soul. Thou shalt not commit fornication. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not be a corrupter of youth. Thou shalt not let the word of God issue from thy lips with any kind of impurity. Thou shalt not accept persons when thou reprovest any one for transgression. Thou shalt be meek. Thou shalt be peaceable. Thou shalt tremble at the words which thou hearest. Thou shalt not be mindful of evil against thy brother. Thou shalt not be of doubtful mind as to whether a thing shall be or not. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in vain. Thou shalt love thy neighbor more than thy own soul. Thou shalt not slay the child by procuring abortion, nor again shalt thou destroy it after it is born. Thou shalt not withdraw thy hand from thy son or from thy daughter, but from their infancy thou shalt teach them the fear of the Lord. Thou shalt not covet what is thy neighbor's, nor shalt thou be avaricious. Thou shalt not be joined in soul with the haughty, but thou shalt be reckoned with the righteous and lowly. Receive thou as good things the trials which come upon thee. Thou shalt not be of double mind or of double tongue, for a double tongue is a snare of death. Thou shalt be subject to the Lord and to other masters as the image of God with modesty and fear. Thou shalt not issue orders with bitterness to thy maidservant or thy manservant, who trust in the same God, lest thou shouldst not reverence that God who is above both. For he came to call men not according to their outward appearance, but according as the Spirit had prepared them. Thou shalt communicate in all things with thy neighbor. Thou shalt not call things thy own, for if ye are partakers in common of things which are incorruptible, how much more should you be of those things which are corruptible? Thou shalt not be hasty with thy tongue, for the mouth is a snare of death. As far as possible, thou shalt be pure in thy soul. Do not be ready to stretch forth thy hands to take, whilst thou contractest them to give. Thou shalt love as the apple of thine eye, every one that speaketh to thee the word of the Lord. Thou shalt remember the day of judgment, night and day. Thou shalt seek out every day the faces of the saints, either by word, examining them, and going to exhort them, and meditating how to save a soul by the word, or by thy hands thou shalt labor for the redemption of thy sins. Thou shalt not hesitate to give, nor murmur when thou givest. Give to every one that asketh thee, and thou shalt know who is the good recompenser of the reward. Thou shalt preserve what thou hast received, neither adding to it nor taking from it. To the last thou shalt hate the wicked one. Thou shalt judge righteously. Thou shalt not make a schism but thou shalt pacify those that contented by bringing them together. Thou shalt confess thy sins. Thou shalt not go to prayer with an evil conscience. This is the way of the light.